Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm going to pick one of these phantoms to be your choice. I haven't seen all three of them in action. I still haven't seen a spec'd revenant phantom. Um, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to do my best. The stats for the phantom is 60 hit points. This is at level 20 because nobody's got a level 30 yet. So this is at level 20. It's obviously going to be stronger at 30. 60 hit points, 60 damage, range of 1, a target's ground, attack speed is 1, roll is assassin, speed is 2 and cooldown is 240 because it is a legendary unit. Um, it has 90% resistance until they kill an enemy. So after they kill that enemy, the first enemy, they lose their 90% resistance. Uh, they have memory steal. It heals itself and gains special buffs based on the unit slain. So when it kills a unit, it actually heals itself slightly. And it gets 60% resistance um, if it kills an armored. It gets 60% attack speed if it kills a melee. If it kills a range, it'll get plus 3 range. Uh, if it kills a support, it heals an ally at long range. If it kills an assassin, it gets 60% damage. And if it's epic, it executes a slash attack at a range of 4. Now... If you kill two range, you're not going to get plus six. It does not stack. And from what I have seen, they none of these stack. So the armor, like once you kill the next one, I think it's replaced with the buff. So say you killed an armor, you get the 60% resistance. You kill a melee, then you have 60% attack speed, not the resistance. That is my understanding, but there hasn't been enough done. Um, to be sure. Now I do have videos of this unit against every other unit in the game. Um, so you can see for yourself how that goes as well. Uh, this is it in epic form. It is 123 uh, and one, uh, 122. And of course epic you can target ground and air. The Dimension Phantom is an undead assassin that steals abilities from their targets. They gain powers depending on the role and other qualities of their victims. Dimension Phantoms break their enemies' minds, making them switch sides and damage themselves. Um, let's have a look here again at the Dementia spec. Um, this one is specced into Dementia. Dementia gives you Gaze of Madness, which charms a regular enemy at short range. Five. So even though your range is 1, you are charming an enemy at 5 range, so you're not even going to be near it. Charmed units swap teams and lose 10 health every 5 seconds. Cooldown is 30 seconds. With the cooldown being 30 seconds though, you probably only get to do this once. Um, there will be a small video at the end when I finish talking about this to show this spec in action. Um, so you don't need to be that close. Uh, you, you're more likely to charm someone. Yeah. As you can see, this is a Dementia Phantom. It does have a plus one range boon in it. Uh, let's see how it goes. Slightly better than nothing, but not that great. All right, uh, the next one is the Reaper Phantom, which also is an undead assassin that steals abilities from their targets. They gain power depending on the role and other qualities of their victims. Reaper Phantoms get even more deadly after defeating an enemy. How deadly? 30% extra deadly. Stacks up to 10 times. So 10 stacks of 30% is 300%. So it, it will get 300% extra damage after killing or helping kill a unit. That's only useful if it stays alive. Um, I know there's people recommending this, but you actually need to get a kill or help a kill to get that. Um, I will put a short video at the end of this one as well to see it in action so you can see how that works or not because it dies before it gets to use it. All right, this is a Reaper Phantom. It does have a Rogue Soul in it um, for testing purposes. It does 30% damage after getting a kill. Stacking up to 10 times. So it's got one kill, so it's got plus 30% damage. Oh, it's dead. Lastly, we have a Revenant Phantom, which is also an undead assassin that steals abilities from their targets. They gain powers depending on the role and other qualities of their victims. Revenant Phantoms become flying units. They hunt flying units and, if they kill one, they gain speed and deal damage to grounded nearby units. Now, I wasn't a big fan of this spec. 
Um, but after rereading it, and as I said, I have not seen this in action, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, but the problem with Dementia and Reaper Phantoms is if you put them in a normal, you know, like PvP or whatever, most people have got armored at the front, then melee, then their support, their ranged, their flying units. Um, your Phantom is not going to get through the armored and the melee. It's going to die. Um, but with the Revenants being a flying unit... Because the viewers can't epic their units and melee and armored, except for lancers, can't target air. Making this a very viable option for PvP. Um, it will have its 90% resistance. It would fly over your armor, armored, fly over your melee. Um, it would have 90% resistance against your first air unit, uh, if it's a flying rogue or ranged unit that you would um, encounter. Uh, but I would not expect it to live very long either. But it'll have more chance of um, killing something. And if you kill a range, you'll get plus three extra range. And if you kill like the flying rogue assassin, it will give you 60% um, extra damage. So out of all the options, and as I said, I haven't seen Revenant on um in action i was really enjoying dementia but then i realized that i had a 30 second cooldown and you're not going to be able to turn you're going to be dead in the 30 seconds the reaper you're going to be dead before you get to use your damage buff revenant you're probably also going to be dead before you kill your second unit um but I'm going to go out on a limb and actually recommend Revenant. But I do need to do more testing. I'm not 100% sure of this choice. This is what I will be specking mine into. Just so I can make a comparison video. And then I will update um, this at that time. Um, so my first choice would be Revenant. My second choice would be Dementia. Because at least you'll get to turn an enemy. And my worst choice for the three out of these uh, would be Reaper after seeing the videos that I've posted. Um, agree? Don't agree? Let me know in the comments which spec you went and what your thoughts are. Um, every stream is going to have a different opinion and thank you so much for entrusting me and checking me out to find out what mine is. Uh, where would I place it in the battle? Uh... Well, you don't want it running into your armored and melee lines because it'll die. Uh, so you'd have to try to stick it somewhere where you can flank. But then if you've got a lot of enemies where you're trying to flank, you're still going to get killed. So I don't know. You could probably really put it anywhere in the battle. I, it's slower. It's it's only a two speed. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Stick it up your butt for all I care. <laughs> all right. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay awesome.